Next show I'm going to be reviewing is called A to Z. Now, if you're a fan of How I Met Your Mother, and if you were as heartbroken as I was when it ended, then you're going to love this show. It follows Andrew and Zelda. A to Z. Get it? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> anyway, it follows their relationship, which lasts, according to the narrator, exactly eight months, three weeks, five days, and one hour. It follows Andrew, this love-struck guy whose parents had a perfect relationship and of course he wants to find the girl of his dreams and have a wonderful family and live happily ever after and blah blah blah. And then it follows Zelda, this lawyer who is totally no-go on love. She does not want guys, she doesn't care, and she was raised by a hippie mother so obviously she knows that guys do not work out. And so it follows how they fall in love and apparently their relationship ends. We don't know what that means yet, so who knows. One of the problems I kind of had with this show, which wasn't really a problem, it was just kind of annoying. It was a little cliche, you know, like, of course the guy works for an internet dating site and he wants to find his perfect girl. You know, of course this girl is a no-nonsense lawyer, as the website of the show describes. You know, like, it's a little cliche that the cynical girl would be a lawyer and the lovable guy would work for an internet dating site. Like, it's nice. But it's totally what I would expect. Another thing I didn't really like was the first storyline of them getting together. It was kind of blown in the first episode. Like, spoiler alert, they get together by the end of the first episode. Whatever. So what do they do with the next, with the rest of the eight months and three weeks, four days and an hour or whatever? Like, what are they going to do then? I don't know. I still liked it and I will still watch it. I am a little curious to see how they work because I really do like this unique take on a to Z. It chronicles their entire story using a letter of the alphabet. But what are they going to do for the other 25 letters? All in all, I gave this show a three and a half stars out of five. Like I said, it was a little cliche in some areas with their careers and their backstory and stuff, but I did like how it was a different kind of take on an office romance because their office buildings are right next to each other, which is why they're able to see each other all the time. But it wasn't a classic like, oh, he sees her from across the hall or she's the receptionist. It wasn't a Pam and Jim type of relationship, which I do like. And I do like how it's unique and the dialogue is really fresh and it's witty, the banter is really cool, and the dialogue is really great. So all in all, I'll keep watching it, maybe, you know, if I have time. But I did like it. It was it was a nice little How I Met Your Mother reunion of, of sorts.